Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Leone. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a really, really big mistake I have done, which I deeply regret. And I just wanna warn you guys so you do not make this same mistake. So I went to Mexico for two weeks on holiday back in June 2022. And I thought it would be a good idea to get some sun lightning hairspray. So these sprays are targeted to be natural ways of lightening your hair in the sun and if you're all natural that'd be a lovely way like put a bit of lemon juice on your hair it's not the stuff's got hydrogen peroxide in it the stuff's got acid in it it is not a natural way to lighten your hair now there's a few brands out there this one's sunburn the one i use there's sun in spray there's i think there's a john frieda one stay away from them do not put them on your hair just just don't, don't do it. So I am now six months down the line from using this product and I still cannot get my hair done. So I went in about a month or so after I got back from holiday because I was due my regular um, hair. And what I normally have done is I just have like a bleach and a toner, kind of a baby-like kind of effect at the moment. I was going a bit blonder than I usually do. So I told my hairdresser about it and I said, oh, I went on holiday and used this stuff because it was quite obvious because this stuff as well, it goes a brassy, coppery colour when you put it on your hair. So for the life of me, I could not tighten that coppery tinge out my hair. I put lots of toners on it in between like getting back from holiday and getting my hair done just to try and get that because I just, they were so like coppery and horrible. Like my roots were horrible. So yeah, I told my hairdresser, so she quickly did a, a bleach test on my hair to see how it reacted on top of there and yeah, it snapped and we're six months down the line. I've had quite a few sessions and tests and it is still snapping. The issue is, is that I don't know if you're going to be able to tell too well from this camera, but I've got, like that's my bleach bit and then this is here, going up here is like the coppery band and then obviously this is the virgin hair, the regrowth from roots. So if they were to not die over this bit, I'm gonna have this and this match, because I'm about to tone them the same, but I'm gonna have this orange band going around my hair, but they cannot die over it because it's snapping. It's, it's just absolutely terrible. I, I deeply regret this. I've got very upset about this. My hair at the moment, I don't find it too bad because it is given that balayage look, which, which is fine, but I know I'm gonna get to the point where, I mean, this is six months worth of growth plus the two months of like that dye, but I'm gonna get to a point where it's not gonna be looking good. And I just, at the moment, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. The only other option I've got is to go darker and I don't wanna do that. So as much as I um, want this video to like warn you guys about not using this product, I also want to show you some products I've picked up and what I'm doing to repair my bleach damaged hair. Because my hairdresser always says I've got really good condition hair for like long blonde hair that's bleach. She said it's, it's lovely condition. Don't want to do anything to ruin it because this is if we do put bleach over it it's going to be awful so yeah that is the story of my hair and what to avoid and if you've been in this scenario before where you use the spray let me know how long it took you to recover your hair and get it bleached again or if you're a hairdresser if you had any experience with clients please let me know in the comments below if you've got any like help or recommendations what i can do so I can eventually get my hair done again. So I'm gonna quickly show you some of the products that I've picked up and what I'm doing to repair my hair, my bleach damage, try and get it in such a good condition I can actually get it dyed. Now some of these products are new and I've been using this month. So I'm going to, or planning to go and give an updated video down the line when I've used these products quite a lot and see where I've got to in terms of the repair. And some of these products are just staples that I've been using for years. So first of all, at the salon, I've been having the Olaplex 1 and 2 treatment as a standalone treatment. I normally do have that when I get my hair bleached, but because I can't do that, I'm still getting that to help recover the hair. And then that goes on to the Olaplex range. 
So I'm currently going between this shampoo and another shampoo at the moment. So I'm using the Olaplex 4 and 5 shampoo. This is the shampoo and conditioner range. And once a week I'm using the Hair Perfector number 3. I also was using the new number 0 as well where you put that on put that on first for 10 minutes and then you leave this one on but I've run out of that at the moment so I'm using the Olaplex 03, 4 and 5 range. The second shampoo I've got is from Redken. Now I was researching across YouTube watching lots of videos and these shampoos keep coming up so they've got two ranges I was looking at but I went for this range so this is the acidic bonding concentrate range and this is a bonding shampoo kind of like Olaplex so I'm using this for I'm like second set of wash a week I normally wash my hair twice a week uh, three times max because I try not to wash it because it will wash out all the oils but this is a pH neutral pH concentrate as well everyone raves about this they also have another brand which I've got some of the stuff but I didn't get the shampoo and conditioner this time and it's the extreme range and it's the bleach recovery so there is also a bleach recovery shampoo and conditioner but I went for the bonding ones they are really nice I washed my hair with these for the first time the other day and my hair felt absolutely lovely so I'm hoping these are really going to help and then from the Redkin range extreme bleach recovery Laminera water treatment so this is another treatment for bleach I use this once a week as well so I try and separate the Olaplex treatment days and leave enough time for the this treatment day so I'm not doing them too close together. My Olaplex treatment's normally at the weekend and I do one of these midweek. This stuff is meant to be absolutely amazing. It does give your hair a really nice like silky coating. So yeah, have a look at the Red King Concentrate Bonding range and the Extreme Bleach range if you're looking to like do a whole like bleach recovery. I then got the Extreme Bleach Recovery Seeker cream, I think it is the seeker cream. This is a leave in conditioner. Now, I'm not someone that really ever used leave in conditioner before. I don't know why I should do because I've got quite long hair, but I've started to do leave in conditioners. This is lovely. So, after I've washed with either the Olaplex or the Redkin shampoos and I've done my treatments, I whack a bit of this in my hair as a leave in conditioner. And next from the Redkin range is the Extreme Play Safe Heat cream now i put this on before i blow dry my hair it's meant to protect your hair up to 230 it's a kind of leaving treatment as well as like a protection spray as well i'm trying to avoid not using heat on my hair i am an avid curler but i'm trying to stay away from that and blow dry my hair and use other ways of curling my hair but just for the blow drying alone i'm using this stuff it's meant to be absolutely amazing i saw loads of recommendations from my hairdressers and hair gurus on youtube about this so i was like i have to get it so this is another product that's reinforcing and bodifying for the hair and this is the the beans liquid spell now i actually got recommended this more for a postpartum hair loss it's meant to be really good for like thickening the front of your strands and I've definitely noticed that they're not so fly away they do feel a bit stronger from using this so this one will it help with my bleach damage I don't know but it's definitely making my hair feel a lot better in that sense I thought I'd just include it in this video because it is one of my new hair care products I've bought at the moment so for those of you who may be interested I'm going to be doing a whole postpartum hair journey as I'm currently pregnant with my second baby my first time round, I did have postpartum hair loss but I didn't actually have it that bad so I'm gonna do a whole video and a journey on that and show you the product that I use the vitamins and stuff like that but that'll be for a separate video for you guys but I'll let you know how I get on with this and as I said previously I really like my hair being curled I like a curly kind of wavy effect whether it's proper curls or just a bit of like a blowout look but I'm trying to stay away from heat so I have bought I bought actually two different sizes of these but this is the heatless curlers from internal muse now i bought a cheaper one on amazon ages ago and i was using it but i just couldn't get on with it i couldn't sleep in it and i was thinking to myself, how do all these people sleep in these heatless curlers they're so uncomfortable they're so horrible 
it was because I bought a really, really cheap one. I bought these and they are a game changer. They are so comfy to sleep in. So I've got the original size and I've got a midi one. Depending on your hair length and fitness, they um, have all different sizes. But the original gives me a bit more of a loose curl and the I think I've got the midi ones a bit more of a tighter curl. So a bit more of a, not so ringlet curl, but just a tighter curl. But yeah, these are absolutely amazing. I love using them. They're so nice to sleep in. I get on really well with them and I'm not using the heat in my hair, but still getting curly hair. So I hope you found this video insightful. If I can get anything out of this, is to stop someone using that spray and ruining their hair. But as I said, most of these products are quite new to me. So I will be doing a journey and an update of how I'm getting on with these products. I'm really looking forward to them. I'm really, really hoping that maybe after the baby's here and the, maybe the pregnancy hormones have all come out my body, my hair might be in a better position to dye and finally get my hair done. And as I said, if you've got any, any tips or any experience on this situation, please let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.